Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on and thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping, I've been to Aldi. Come and have a look what I got. Uh, I was having a little walk around Aldi as you do and I came across these. I noticed these were new. Um, I'm new. Um, Everyday Essentials. 10 fish fingers. Specially selected. Crisp and delicious. Two melt in the middle. Cod and pea fish cakes. Look at that. So I instantly thought of mushy peas. This is not a comparison. Uh, I just seen that these were new, so I thought I'd review them. I've done loads of uh, fish finger comparisons. Well, when I say loads, I've done a few. Um, they'll be in um, my comparison playlist, which I will put in the description. And obviously, them ones I did about six months ago all be different now because the prices have changed they've gone up so much in the last six to twelve months um so yeah so let's have a look at these like i say i mentioned i've done a comparison fish fingers but we'll take a look at these um the the, the new so i thought I'd, I'd have a look at them and um, there is a little traffic light system there look and it says certified sustainable seafood on the front and um, let's have a look around the back let's get around the back 250 grams responsibly sourced it says there eh? uh, let's have a look at the nutritional information if you want to pause that and have a look at that by all means go ahead let's have a look at the ingredients and there they are minced atlantic cod 58 percent allergens of fish and wheat in there so it's minced it's not it's not um Cod fillet, it's a, a minced, so it, you know you'll you'll get everything. I would imagine in there. <laughs> if it's minced Atlantic cod, you'll get the, the the teeth, the tails, the eyeballs, and the everything else. <laughs> um, so let's have a look. Uh, boneless and skinless minced cod coated in crispy golden breadcrumbs. There is a serving suggestion with. Chips and peas. Uh, no, there's no chips, is there? <laughs> Why wouldn't you? You'd have fish finger chips and peas, not just fish fingers and peas. That seems a bit of a stranger serving suggestion, but that is just the way it goes, isn't it? Stick them in the grill or you can do them in the oven. Directions for use there. Allergy advice. Um, allergens in bold. All, every effort has been made to remove all bones that some may remain. No artificial colours or flavours. Little GB sticker there. Right. We've had a look at them, and these were 75 pence. I mentioned that, didn't I? Let's have a look at these, specially selected. Limited edition. I don't know how long these will be on for. I think it depends on if they sell well. I think that's probably... Well, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, crisp and delicious. Two melt in the middle cod and pea fish cakes. Atlantic cod with pea and herb melting centre. Coated in a golden... A crisp golden salt and vinegar flavour tempura batter. Mm. Um, certified sustainably seafood sauced. These were two pounds and forty nine pence, so they were considerably more than them. However, this is not a comparison, um, and you get two in there. Two chunky ones, by the look of it. Two big ones. A uh, little traffic light system there. Two hundred forty nine calories a fish cake. So let's have a look at the um, ingredients in a bit more depth. Atlantic cod, 38% allergens of fish, wheat, milk. Skinless and boneless Atlantic cod mixed with potato and pea sauce centre coated in a salt and vinegar flavour batter coating. So there's, there's potato in there, isn't there? Two melt in the middle cod and pea fish cakes. Doesn't say that on there though, does it? Um, you think it's all, you think it's all going to be cod, but it's actually potato mixed with potato and pea centre sauce centre. <laughs> Get my words up. Two hundred and ninety grams. Directions for use: place on a baking tray, in the middle of the shelf, preheat oven, fan one eighty, gas two hundred, um, gas six, electric two hundred for twenty minutes. These are fresh; they're not frozen. These were frozen. So I'm pre in the oven, they're both going to go in the oven, um, and I'm going to stick them on this, uh, this was a lovely gift sent to me, this, the Oily Hands I think sent me this, a lovely pizza tray, uh, I'm going to stick it on a bit of grease proof paper, because uh, I don't want it to, they've got holes in you see, I don't want it to all leak through, 
So let's get these open first and have a look at these. Let's have a look, see if we can get it open without ripping it. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting a vinegar. I'm getting a salt and vinegar smell coming through straight away. As soon as I opened it, that's what's coming through. So like I say, they are fresh, so they need a bit of love and care because they're soft. Um, but that's what you get, look. £2.49. So what's that divided? £2.49 divided by 2. Is it about £1.25 or something like that? Or just less, isn't it? Um, but how much are fish cakes in the chippy? Oh, it smells good. It's smelling good already. Let's <laughs> just eat it like that, actually. <laughs> no, don't don't do that. Don't do that. Right, I'll put that on there. Right, I'm going to get these open now. Have we got a tab system? We have. Look at that. Got a tab system. Oh, yes. Perfect. Um, so there, 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 there you go. Look, and I will count them out. We'll make sure we get ten. We want. We need to know. And I'll do that right now. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I've put the um, fish cake in at the, in the middle of the oven at 180 for 10 minutes and then I'm going to transfer these and put these in because these take 12 minutes. Um, I worked it out, seven and a half pence um, a fish finger. Seven and a half pence. Now I know you probably can get them elsewhere cheaper if you shop around. But this isn't that kind of video it's just the new so we want to see what they like um, and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing let me know your go-to fish fingers and and yeah if you if you i know if you buy them a massive amount in bulk it works out per 100 grams a lot cheaper doesn't it and you know it, it just pays to shop around at the end of the day doesn't it it does pay to shop around but yeah aldi I'm new, we've got to find out what they're like, aren't we? So um, I'll bring it back when I stick them in the oven. I nearly forgot as well, while I was in Aldi, I bought this, 29 pence. Um, Bramwell's malt vinegar. And it's cracking stuff. We, I've had this before, it's really good. Really good stuff. And it comes with, I'll open it, it's not been opened, I've just bought it. <coughs> um, and there it comes with a, a, you know, you don't have to take it out or anything. It's got its own like shaker. Well, it says there, look, with shaker. Um, yeah, so I'm going to stick some vinegar on. Well, it's already got vinegar on these, but, you know, obviously if you're doing chips and that, you know, I'm on a bit of a diet like, so I'm trying to uh, cut down. <laughs> but, yeah, fish finger chips and beans or mushy peas. Alright, enough of that. I couldn't help it. Do you remember that Tony Take Heart? Tony Hart. Oh, I used to watch that as a kid. I'm going to have three of these. Three of these and one of them. Loads of uh, protein. So they're going in the oven now for another 10 minutes. Well, 12 minutes. They're done. Have a look at that. See what you think. Um, It's a bit crispy, but not massively crispy. And there's the fish fingers. So we'll get them open now and we'll get into it. I want to cut that open and want to see it all oozing out. I'm going to have a fish finger um, sandwich, uh, a bun. I've got some of these um, 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 oven bottom buns, they're called. Lancashire oven bottom buns. <laughs> uh, and I got that uh, specially selected tartar sauce from uh, Aldi as well. I've had that a while. But let's cut into this. Let's get right in. I'm just going to cut it in half. Get it open. Show you lovely people out there. You know, you're going to know what you're getting for one pound and twenty-five p. There it is. That's inside. Look, I'll pick it up and get a closer look. Pea and herb. I'm going to have to, I can smell the vinegar. When I was cooking, it, it didn't have smell good. It smelled like a chippy. I'll chop it open and you can have a look just to see how much cod there is in there. <laughs> Um, I'll open it up. I'll do a bit of an autopsy, and, and then I'll get, I'll, I'll get, I'll show you. Because you've got to, you've got to know what you're getting. Um, there's your pea, a few herbs, and there's your sort of minced cod and potato. Yeah, that's half. That is half. Right, let's, let's get in. Let's see if I can pick them all up. 
It does look a bit mushy, but never mind. You never mind. Like the comments I get, it, it goes, it all looks the same in your mouth, doesn't it? Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's tasty. Oh, that is tasty. The vinegar I'm picking up straight away. Definitely kept getting that, that flavour of vinegar. They're well seasoned. Don't need no more salt and vinegar on there. Um, mm. They're tasty. They are tasty. Um, the pea. I was thinking more like mushy peas. And I know it is mush, sort of mushed up peas. But it's not like mushy peas you get from the, the chip shop. Oh, they're tasty though. They really are. Have a look. Them peas are pretty much lost in there. But it's tasty. It's tasty. One more bite and I'm going to get into these fish fingers. Mmm. Oh, they are tasty. I like them. I do. I think it's the vinegar. I mean, I know you can buy maybe buy some normal um, cod fish uh, fish cakes and stick a load of malt vinegar on them, and a, and a buy a tin of mushy peas. But I know it's a gimmick. Um, yeah, and a, and a two pound fifty. Right, let's get into this. Looks all right, doesn't it? There's your minced cod there. No bones, don't see any like scales. <laughs> you know, or, or cod teeth. Well seasoned, bread crumb, bread crumb coating is tasty. I do apologize for talking with my mouth full. But seven and a half pence of fish finger. They're tasty. Now let's make a let's make a bun. Uh, and what I've done here, I've, I've I've made an error here, haven't I? I should have I should have done four, and net one, and put three in there. But which doesn't matter because what we're going to do now, I'm going to put with, with this other half. That's going to get on there. I'm going to spread that on there. Get that spread on there. Look at that. Oh, Look at that. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah, the the pea bit's lost. Really, it's not. Um, you know, it's it's just lost. There's that. There's not a lot of it. It's not. It, it, I'm not picking it up. And I'm gonna add add some more malt vinegar. Like that. Let's get a bit more on. Um, and stick a bit more salt on. You know. You know. A bit more salt. Just a little bit. And then just sort of crush that together. Like that. And then give yourself a nice sandwich. You probably won't be watching this, but I'm going to enjoy it. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's tasty. Really is. No butter, I'm on a diet. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Lights on, isn't it? Just check. Turn that one off. Thought it was a bit dark in here. Um, then melt in the middles. If you fancy a little treat and treat yourself, go and give them a whirl. They are pretty tasty. And like the Everyday Essentials fish fingers, there's nothing wrong with them. They're alright. I mean, obviously, if you want cod fillet, get your more expensive ones. But, you know, fish is fish at the end of the day, isn't it? Uh, so thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, and I'll catch you on the next one.